Hello everyone, it's Enigma here, and welcome to my 2019 predictions for Nintendo. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Today is 2019, it's the start of a new year, uh, and, and you know what guys, what is 2018? I don't know what 2018 is, I don't know anything that was in 2018, what was 2018? All I know about is 2019, and all the fun things that will come for this year. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for 2019, man. It's going to be so much fun. Man, I'm so excited. And basically, the way this prediction, these predictions are going to work is, you know, for each month, I predicted something that could be something that could be revealed uh, in each month and, you know, release windows for uh, those games as well. Basically, you know, I have stuff for like January and February, so I can't wait to get into this. Um, and also, I just want to let you guys know that it's really hard to predict Nintendo. Nintendo is literally impossible to predict. Literally, they could reveal anything this year. But it's fun to predict anyways and see how much things I'll get wrong because I know there's going to be so much things that I'm going to be getting wrong. And you know what? That's the fun of it. And some of these predictions may be, you know, wild predictions. And I understand that. You know, I know some of these ideas are kind of wild but that's the fun of it all is to imagine what it would be like if these things did happen basically and, and you know nothing's impossible that's something you guys need to learn is that nothing is impossible nintendo could do the most craziest things each year we can never predict nintendo and you know they're They've always got something up their sleeves, and I think that 2019 is definitely going to be one of the best years for the Switch. I personally believe it. Um, I believe they're going to have a lot of first-party games revealed this year. Like, I, I can see this being the year where they're, where they're just going all out with the first-party titles. I can definitely see that. Uh, but anyways, I've dragged that out for too long, so let's just go on to what I think could go on in January. So, for January, I said that we could have a mini direct. We get a few new ports, uh, like such as like maybe Super Mario 3D World, even though I absolutely hate that game. I still could see that getting ported. Um, and a release date for the Piranha Plant DLC, and maybe one new character, possibly a Dragon Quest drop. Also, new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is released here. So, yes, I think this definitely makes sense uh, for January. Sorry about that. Sorry about that interruption. Um, I think that this definitely makes sense for January, and you know, I think it's pretty inevitable that we are going to be getting a mini direct because literally every January we always get a mini direct. Like we always get a mini direct. This year is no different. We're definitely going to be getting a mini direct, and um. I think that I think the dra I think a Dragon Quest drop does make sense and I could see it being revealed in a mini direct because as we know Dragon Quest isn't really popular in North America whereas it's really popular in Japan so for us North Americans you know that's something that we're not going to get like too excited over but as for the Japanese audience they're going to go crazy over that so really you know I think that makes sense to reveal it at the mini direct. It just makes a whole lot of sense. Um, and pretty much that's basically it besides a release date for the Piranha Plant DLC and new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. So that's basically that. Let's move on to February, and I said nothing much goes on this month besides a few releases every here and there, and the Piranha Plant DLC is released here. So yes, I, I'm pretty sure February is just going to be a chill month. You know, I don't think there's going to be too much going on in February. I think February is a time where they're just going to go easy and relax. Um, anyways, let's just move right on to March. A big Nintendo Direct goes on. Nintendo talks about what they will do to fix the online, and they also reveal a new Super Mario Maker coming in July of 2019. Super Mario Odyssey DLC is revealed with two new kingdoms, Delfino Kingdom and Galaxy Kingdom, releasing in May. 
Damon X Machina gets a release date of September 2019. The last they show off is Joker from Persona 5 in Smash, with a release date of sometime in April. They also reveal a Crash Bandicoot reveal for Smash, and he will release in June. So yes, this is basically what I think will go on in March. Um, the Nintendo Direct... Obviously, we I think we could get a Nintendo Direct in March, um, because we got I think we got a March Direct in 2017 and 2018. So I think they could do the same for this year. And Super Mario Maker, this was a game that I predicted would be coming last year. I still think we we might be getting a new Super Mario Maker. I really do believe it, um, because obviously we got new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe ported. So, I think the next big step is to make a new Super Mario Maker, and I just think it makes a whole lot of sense, honestly. Like, Super Mario Maker, like, it's it was a huge success for the Wii U, and it was very surprising that it was a huge success, seeing how the Wii U was such a huge failure. Like, it would be crazy for Nintendo to not make a new Super Mario Maker. Like, that would be crazy of them not to do. Um... In Mario Odyssey DLC, yes, the game is almost two years old, which that is crazy to think about, by the way. Um, but I, quite honestly, I, I I do see DLC coming. It's just the thing is, is that I don't know when. Um, Del Final Kingdom would obviously be a reference to Mario Sunshine, and Galaxy Kingdom would be a reference to Mario Galaxy. I think those make a whole lot of sense. I think we should be seeing Mario Odyssey DLC in 2019. We kind of got. Mario Odyssey DLC last year in the form of Luigi's Balloon World, but honestly, you know, that's just more of a free update. I personally think that there should be, like, paid DLC for this game, and I'm honestly kind of shocked this hasn't come out yet. Like, I'm pretty sure this has got to be coming soon, and the only question is when. Um, uh, that's basically the only thing. Damon X Machina, I know nothing about this game, but what I do know is that it's got to be releasing this year. It just makes a whole lot of sense. And I came up with September 2019. Uh, so, yeah. And Joker from Persona 5, I think this is the time where they're actually going to show gameplay of this character. And they're going to, you know, show him off. And they're going to release him in April. Now... Crash Bandicoot, we all know Crash has got to be coming into this game. You know, I'm not just saying this because I want him. I genuinely think he actually is very likely. Like I said, Reggie came out saying that these third party, I mean, these characters are going to be uh, uh, anticipated picks that no one is going to see coming. So... I really can't wait, and I think that one of the, I think Crash definitely fits in that category, honestly. Like, I think this is a character that no one's gonna see coming, and it's gonna shock everyone. I definitely think Crash might actually be coming into the game, and I, it, I just really hope this happens. I, I'm gonna just fanboy so hard if Crash gets into this game. Uh, but instead of gushing about Crash for, like, hours on end, let's just move on to April. April. Uh, April, this is when Joker will be released for Smash. Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Three Houses really will release here as well. So, yeah, basically, April is just, you know, there's nothing new that is announced, but there's, you know, there's just release dates in April. That's basically, you know, what April is there for. Um, so there's nothing too big to talk about there. Um, May. The Super Mario Odyssey DLC comes out, and this is also the month where they patch up the online issues for a lot of games. Obviously, obviously, you know, we all know that, you know, Smash Online sucks. It lags, it, it's just, I don't even own the online, but I know that, you know, I've heard a lot of people complain about it, and I've seen some footage of the online. The online is trash, and it needs to be fixed. And I think that N Nintendo will will acknowledge how bad the online is and they will patch it. I believe that they I believe they will patch it. It's just a matter on when and I think maybe May they might patch it up. I don't know. I was just I just put it in May simply because I don't know like 
anything else that could be in May besides that and the Super Mario Odyssey DLC, if that ever even does happen. Anyways, June. June. I have a lot of things I put for June because this is E3 month and they showcase a lot of games coming to the system in 2019 and early 2020. We finally get Metroid Prime 4 gameplay with a release date of February 2020. Luigi's Mansion 3 also has some new gameplay, and it is revealed that it is back to the original formula from the first Luigi's Mansion. This will be released sometime in October. We also get some new Yoshi gameplay to remind people that it is coming in July. We finally get a look at the Gen 8 Pokemon for the new Pokemon game, which will release in January 2020. Animal Crossing is shown off for Switch and is announced with Mother... Uh, it is announced... Uh, with a November release. We also get some new games announced, such as Pikmin 4, which will release in December 2019, and the game that is going to shock everyone, Mother 4, with a Mother 3 port for the 30th anniversary of the Earthbound series. However, one big game announcement no one is going to see coming. This is a game announcement that everyone's going to be shocked, and they're going to be like, oh my god, oh my god, like, like, that is going to be their everyone's reaction, is Super Mario Sunshine HD, which is a remaster of the GameCube title, releasing in June of 2020. <laughs> I know that's a wild prediction, trust me, I understand, I, I, but I'm going all out for that, I, I'm going all out. Lastly, they show off the second last character for Smash, which is Sora from Kingdom Hearts, along with a Kingdom Hearts 3 port to Switch. Crash Bandicoot is also released for Smash shortly after E3. So yes, I think I, I still believe Sora is likely. I still am holding by that, and I think Sora might be coming to the game. I think because I personally believe when they announce a Kingdom Hearts 3 port, they're going to also announce Sora for Smash. I just think that makes just a whole lot of sense. Like, it would be crazy for Nintendo not to promote that game. It's definitely one of the most anticipated games of all time. Like, this game is going to sell really well. And, it, it, again, it'd just be crazy for Nintendo to not, in, you know, represent Kingdom Hearts in some way, shape, or form. Like... It, they'd be crazy not to do that. Um, anyways, July. Yoshi is released at this time, as well as Super Mario Maker 2. So yes, I think this makes a whole lot of sense, because obviously, you know, Super Mario Maker, I think that's coming. I do believe it's coming eventually. And Yoshi, I think it's already been announced that it is coming in July. But I, I'm not, I don't know for sure. It was either July or August. But I'm just saying July simply because, you know. Um, August. Um, it's a slow month for Nintendo with not a whole lot to show off. So yes, I really don't think they're going to do anything for August. Uh, simply because that, and I just couldn't think of anything else they could do for that time. But who knows? Maybe they might do something for August. Who knows? Maybe a Nindies Direct, probably. Who knows? Um, September. Another new Nintendo Direct. They first show off a new Mario Kart game for the Switch, releasing sometime in March of 2020. They also reveal new online information, such as Virtual Console coming to the Switch, as well as dedicated servers. But... <laughs> Like, that's ever gonna happen. But, in all seriousness, I do see Nintendo doing that sometime. It's just, again, it's just a matter on when. Uh, they also reveal something new for Super Mario Sunshine HD, which is Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, and a Pianta as, a playable, as playable characters. We also get a remaster of Zelda Skyward Sword, revealed at this Direct, and will be released in April of 2020. Lastly, they announced the final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct, and it will go on in November. Damon X Machina also releases here as well. So yes, I think September is going to be a pretty huge month for Nintendo fans, and I think, you know, they're just going to have a lot to show off for this month. That, and you know, they always have a Nintendo Direct in September, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if we get another September Nintendo Direct. October. Luigi's Mansion 3 is released. That's pretty much all there is for October that I listed down.
November, the last Smash Direct, and they finally reveal the very last character for the game, which is Banjo and Kazooie. Their model is similar to their N64 model, and they are released in January 2020. However, Nintendo will throw a curveball at us, and Sakurai will hold yet another Smash Ballad, where they will let us vote who the next Smash character will be. It'll be separate from the Fighter's Pass, and we will learn some new information in 2020. Animal Crossing releases for the Switch here after the Direct. So yes, I think November is going to be like the Smash Month, because they're going to have a Direct. I think that makes a whole lot of sense, and this is also when Animal Crossing is released. I think it makes a whole lot of sense, because November is kind of like fall and winter, um, and I just think that's like a perfect time for a new Animal Crossing. I think it makes a whole lot of sense for the holidays. Um, and lastly, December. Pikmin 4 is released, and the Game Awards go on. Nintendo... N Nintendo, whoops! <laughs> um, Nintendo simply shows off a new Wave Race game coming to the Switch in July 2020. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty small title because you know I quite honestly don't know what they could show off in December that's really anything huge. Uh, basically, I think they're going to show a lot of big games at E3, so they're going to show off a smaller title like Wave Race uh, for 2020. I think that makes a whole lot of sense, and I could actually see that coming um because i think there was a trademark for wave race uh so who knows but i think wave race could pro could possibly happen uh for 2020 but revealed in 2019 i think it could make a whole lot of sense um but yeah, those were my 2019 predictions. Again, I know I had a lot of wild predictions, but it's fun to just go all out and, you know, just go all out with these predictions. It's just fun to see what I got wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, what are your guys' predictions for 2019? Let me know in the comments down below, and I would love to hear it. Anyways, this has been Enigma, and peace. See you next time.